Hello, this is Bill Seymour, your president here at Cleveland State Community College, and I want to welcome you to this campus virtual tour. Cleveland State serves five counties in southeast Tennessee, and we are the number one choice of high school students throughout those five counties, and we're also the preferred choice of adult students. This is a great place to be, and we hope to see you here on campus. Welcome to Cleveland State Community College. My name is Holly Melton, and I will be your virtual tour guide today. Let me show you how Cleveland State is your community college. The building behind me is called the Administration Building. It's otherwise known as the Atkinson Building. What's housed in this building is our President's Office, Human Resources, our Business Office, and the front desk where you can get your student ID made. This building is also adjacent to the parking lot that transports students from the main campus to the Athens Center to Meigs County. We've implemented this new shuttle system called the Cougar Coach to help students in need that need to get transported between those three locations. We're here at the Cleveland State Library where there are a variety of different services available for students. Within the library, we have the Tutoring Learning Center where tutors are available to assist students that need additional help. We have a resource room called Studio Connect. That's a great place to practice student presentations and have study sessions. We also have a computer lab that's available for students to use as long as there's not a class going on. And with your student ID, you get 300 free prints a semester. If you are ever off campus and you need access to library resources, we do have librarians available on our website or through Cougarnet to help connect you with those resources. At Cleveland State, your safety is our priority. That's why we have campus police on campus 24-7. In addition, if you're looking to drive onto campus, this is also where you pick up your parking decal. So directly behind me is the gymnasium. The bottom floor houses our art department. And then not on the gym floor, but on the hallway to the side, we actually have a fitness center available for students to use. And the equipment in there is equipment that you'd find in a regular gym. There are treadmills, ellipticals, free weights, strength machines. Not only that, but we have eight different athletic programs that students can get involved in. We have men's and women's cross country, men's and women's basketball, baseball, softball, women's volleyball, and men's golf. That, plus the numerous clubs and organizations that you can get involved in, those are just more ways to increase your campus life here at Clayton State. So directly behind me is the Humanities Building, where classes like English, History, Psychology, and Sociology meet. To your far right, between the gym and the Humanities Building, there's a walkway that goes up to our baseball field, softball field, and a walking trail that loops across campus. And speaking of loops, one of the new projects that we have going on is the construction of a loop road. This is to better service students to get to buildings quicker and also provide additional parking places. And so we're on the second floor of the Humanities Building. Further down the hallway is a writing center where students can get additional writing assistance when it comes to papers. On your right is the Early Childhood Education Classroom. To your left is a classroom where the Honors College students meet. And fun fact, Cleveland State is the first TBR school to even have an honors college, so we're very excited about that. So next up on our tour is the Student Center. In the Student Center, it houses our Enrollment Services Center, Counseling and Career Services Office, Testing Center, Student Success Center, our Cougar Cafe, and then also our Veterans Resource Center. So come on, let's go check it out. So here at Cleveland State, we believe in putting students first, as evidenced with our Career and Counseling Student Services Center. We have full-time counselors to assist students in any way that we can. We have a Disability Student Services Coordinator to assist students. And then we also have a job board available both in person and on our website to provide additional resources to help students succeed once they graduate from Cleveland State. So our next stop in the Student Center, to my right we have the Testing Center. We have one available here at the main campus and then also one up at the Athens Center. And then to my left is the Enrollment Student Services Center. Now in the ESC, as we call it, we have the Admissions Office, Financial Aid, Records, Dual Enrollment, Dual Credit, and Recruiting Offices. The ESC also houses our Enrollment Specialists that work directly with our transfer, readmit, and non-degree seeking students to help them throughout the enrollment process. 
So welcome to the Student Center Commons area. It's here that is the central hub for students to come and hang out. We've got the bookstore just down the hall where students can pick up their textbooks. They can also get some Cleveland State swag, so be on the lookout for discounts. We've also got our Cougar Cafe directly behind me that have breakfast and lunch offerings. I highly recommend the chicken quesadillas. And then to my left, we have the Student Success Center. So let's go learn a little bit more about that resource. Attending college for the first time can leave people with a lot of questions. That's why we've developed the Student Success Center. It's housed in the Student Commons area in the Student Center, and this is the main entrance. Behind this door houses our Student Success Coaches. Once you apply as a first-time freshman or certificate-seeking student, you are assigned a specific success coach based on your major. They will help you through the enrollment process and also the registration process. We want you to know that we're here for you and you have someone to help you every step of the way. So we just left the Student Center building. To your left is the Math and Science building. It's here in this building that we have our science labs and also a couple math classes. Our math and science instructor offices are also located in this building. And then to your right is the administration building. On the second floor of this building is the mathematics lab. Now with our math classes, they are more of an online based format divided up into what we call modules. The cool thing about that is that with that format, there are set deadlines, but as long as students complete what they need to complete before those set deadlines, they can take as long as they need to. Um, and in the mathematics lab, there will always be a math tutor or math instructor to assist the students with any problems, so they still have um, that additional assistance with the math classes. So as we're making our way to the Career Education Building, fun fact. Cleveland State is a part of Tree Campus USA. To have that sort of distinction, we have to have at least 60 different species of trees on campus. The cool thing is, Cleveland State has over 100, and they are all indicated by these little silver markers. This one is number 47. So imagine 100 plus of those silver markers scattered across Cleveland State campus. If you ever find number one, let me know. I have not found it yet. So this is the Career Education Building. It's the only building on campus with three distinct floors to it. First floor, primarily business classes. Second floor, primarily nursing. And then the third floor houses our EMT, paramedic, medical assisting, and our computer repair shop. Let's go check out one of the college classrooms. So I'm now on the first floor of the Career Education Building in one of the classrooms that has been designed for group discussion. With our student to teacher ratio being 18 to 1, not only does that provide more interaction between the student and the teacher, but also students to other students. So this building right here is the Johnson Building. It's otherwise known as the Cultural Heritage Center. So it's a building that goes by two different names. So if you hear either one, it's this building. What's housed in this building is our auditorium, and then we also have our music classes where students can get involved in vocal rhapsody, we have a chamber choir available, a concert band, and there are private lessons if students are interested in that as well. So the building that we're going into next is our technology building. Within the technology building, it houses a lot of our advanced technology majors, such as mechatronics, electromechanical engineering, welding. It also houses our law enforcement training academy. And then we also have the business incubator. Cleveland State is all about the community, and we're so happy that the business incubator could be located on our campus. So remember that glass building that I was standing in front of just a couple minutes ago? Well, this is the inside look. This is a technology lab that's located in the technology building. And as you can see, there is a ton of equipment. And the cool thing is, a lot of this equipment has been donated from some of the surrounding industries. So students are getting that relevant hands-on training to prepare them for the workforce once they graduate. And speaking of workforce, Cleveland State does have a workforce development department that strategically go out into the surrounding industries. They build those relationships with Cleveland State to make those connections to job opportunities for students once they graduate. So I'm sitting at the Community First walkway that's located directly beside the visitor's entrance and the new plaza. 
our president, Dr. Bill Seymour, was the visionary behind both of those projects. And as you can see through this walkway, he gave our community the opportunity to quite literally cement themselves into Cleveland State's history, as you can see from these birds below. So a project behind me that we're really excited about is the construction of our new health and science building, which will create numerous opportunities for more hands-on training especially with our nursing, medical assisting, and EMT and paramedic majors. We're anticipating the construction to be complete in 2021. Now that you've experienced Cleveland State, we have a special message for you. Thank you for joining us on our virtual tour of Cleveland State today. My name is Kate Green and I'm the Director of Admissions here at the College. We would love to know of your visit with us today and learn how we can assist you in becoming a Cleveland State student. Please visit our website, clevelandstatecc.edu, and use the Contact Us Now link for more information on our classes and degree options. We want to encourage you to apply now, reserve your spot in one of our summer and fall classes, and thank you again for joining us on our tour. I look forward to meeting you soon.